The romance begins with love at first sight, when Sam viewed a daguerreotype image of Charlie's sister Libby. Here's the word-for-word -word account by Ida Langdon. One day, possibly seeking diversion, possibly homesick, he showed the little portrait to Sam Clemens, who was instantly possessed by its beauty and experienced something like love at first sight. At any rate, it was agreed that as soon as possible after both young men were in America, again, Mr. Clemens should be introduced to Miss Langdon. The first meeting was in New York, where Mr. Jervis Langdon, Olivia, and Charles were staying briefly at the old St. Nicholas Hotel. Mark Twain was asked to dine with them and to go afterwards to Steinway Hall to hear a reading by Charles Dickens. The evening sufficed to prove to a young Clemens that the actual girl far surpassed the charm of the daguerreotype. <laughs> Before very long, the invitation to visit his family promised by Charles was received, and Mark Twain came hot foot to Elmira. <laughs> now, the center of their hospitable attention, he really burst upon the Langdons. Their reaction has not always been very accurately described. He was, it is true, unlike anyone they, or anybody else, had ever seen. But his Western gusto and innate originality did not, as so often been said, shock them. It did astonish them and fascinate them. <laughs> left, to their, left to themselves, they would perhaps never have thought of him as a husband for Olivia, but they were not left in this matter to themselves. It was soon clear that Livy and Sam loved each other. Livy's brother already had a strong liking for his stimulating travel mate, and Livy's parents soon felt confidence in his sincerity, delight in his personality, and admiration for his character. They gave him their affection unreservedly. Shortly there was an engagement during which it is interesting to know that the two young people read proof together on Innocence Abroad. And in February 1870, less than a year before Jervis Langdon's death, Olivia Langdon was married to Samuel Clemens by Reverend Thomas K. Beecher in the house among the many trees across from the Park Church. <laughs>